headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? The legendary shroud. El Pinor wasn't lying. I lived on Kefalonia. I never realized the mighty Odysseus' palace was here. Huh? That was odd. What was that? Quiet. Let's get out of you here. Have saved me. Can you fight? I'd be Victory! Whistling. You won't leave here. My thanks. I can't believe I let those malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca? I'm the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. 
We should head to the palace while we have the chance. Life ends here! This is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might... understand him more. Well, uh, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. You look cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. There are a few other ones I can think of that would suit you. I can't wait to hear them. How about beautiful? That works even better. The other ones will come later. I hope later comes soon. So what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? If you want Odysseus's greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus's life. Not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me.
Άγιον και πολλών Άγιον Έκαστος Κρεοπόλης Cassandra, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He'd do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Of course. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming. And the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Phokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder.
have only the finest goods. Done. Goodbye then. It's a fine ship, the Lumenes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. I really need a boat, Telumenes. Everyone in Cephalonia needs a boat. Or passage on one. You've seen this shit hole. All my life. Even if I had a boat, who's going to row it? You! <laughs> I'd give my left grave to see that! This is Cephalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telumenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. Take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. I shouldn't go out any farther on this boat. a little chat.
σώζονται από τον Σωθήτο. This used to be a nice village. But now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days! Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did he hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Go get it! Delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. Release me. I'm not an animal. What do you think you are doing? You are so. Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. And thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mistios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. 
All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happen to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home. But I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So, you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship, and a crew. <laughs> you save my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Phoebe, you're not old enough. I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. 
Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Sparta's fall! The child must fall first! You can't let this happen! Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us! Silence!
Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there! Let's get moving! Let's see how the sails have held up. <laughs> 